Hi, I'm Michelle. Um, back in August, I went to this really cool conference called Write, Speak, Code, and they made all of us write a 10-minute lightning talk, but then ran out of time, so not everybody got to give their talk. So now you guys are stuck listening to it instead. Um, <laughs> So just coming up with a quick topic that I wanted to do, I decided to go with my command line because at one point I did have this really cool rainbow dragon that was awesome. Um, and everybody was always asking me like, why is there a dragon and why do you have all this customization and how did you do it? So this was my answer. Um, so yeah, that one's me. Um, so the first thing I did was setting a friendly creature greeting. Uh, for me, when I started learning command line, everything terrified me. Like, there was no pictures, it was just writing code that was like totally new to me, um, and it ran instantly versus all the HTML and stuff I was used to where I could kind of look at it and see and nothing bad would really happen if I wrote bad code. Um, so the idea with this was that I would have a magical rainbow dragon friend that would greet me and protect me from the evilness that could happen on the command line. Uh, <laughs> and. Bonus, it makes everyone think that I'm way better at Terminal than I really am because it's customized. Um, so what I did was there's a couple of kind of these programs you can install. One of them's called CowSA and one's called Lolcat. Um, and CowSA, if you do it just by itself, has a cow with a speech bubble and it can say anything you want or you can change it to different animals and dragon was one of them and dragons are obviously awesome. Uh, and Lolcat just makes every, all the output rainbow because that's better than plain text, apparently. Um, so this is the code I use. It's pretty simple um, and just pipe one into the other. And that's what I got. So this is what opens every time I open my command line. Um, it doesn't right now, I have it turned off because it does slow down the opening a little bit. Um, but usually that's what it was when I was learning. Uh, so the second thing was taming the rm command. I had a completely irrational fear that instead of typing like cd projects to change into my projects directory, I was gonna do like remove dash rf my entire computer because they're exactly the same and just, you know, you could accidentally type that easily apparently. Um, so once I learned that command, I wouldn't touch it for like days uh, because I was gonna delete everything pretty much is what I decided. Uh, <laughs> And unfortunately, when you do it this way, nothing's recoverable. So it's not even in your trash file, it's just gone forever. And that absolutely terrified me because I had all my stuff and I'm really bad about backing up even though I live on computers and I should know better. Um, so the solution I came up with was to alias my RM to tell me to stop typing it. So every time I tried to do an RM, it just said no, basically. Uh, which was a good training tool to remind me not to do that and also made it safe so that if I accidentally typed it instead of something else, nothing was gonna go away. So, just a pretty simple alias. <laughs> like, I, I, occasionally I had a little meaner comments in there to myself, um, you know, just really remind me, but eventually I got used to it and like now I can not have that alias and feel safe, it's pretty cool. Um, so when I try to remove something, it just says, nope, can't do it. Um, the last thing I did to kind of make my command line experience better was figure out how to make mistakes not as annoying. Um, it's already intimidating enough and I get really annoyed with all the like, this is not a command, this is not a command. Um, so I came up with a couple things. Um, the first one is I'm always typing ls and there's a cool program called sl and so instead of getting this command not found or the same forget when I type it in incorrectly, um, there's a program called GTI that you can install and it gets really better. I don't know where it went. Um, here. Ha. So now if I type in SL, instead of getting a command not found, I get a train. <laughs> Um, which is much friendlier to me. I'm like, okay, well, it's not exactly what I wanted, but at least I'm not angry now. Uh, <laughs> GTI is about the same. Uh, GTI, like a car, so I get vroom vroom. And then it actually does load up like the git help thing, so that's kind of cool too. Um, but much nicer than command not found. Um, yeah. And my favorite one is this one. Uh, this one's when you get really annoyed at a typo and you're just like, seriously, stop. Definitely don't do it when you have your boss looking over because it's not necessarily nice. 
Um, but, so it's like, you know, this is not a command. Did you mean this? And you're like, well, yes. Why couldn't you just do that? You obviously know what I meant. So there's this awesome thing called the fuck. And you just type in, when you get that, you just type in fuck. And it's like, OK, here, and runs it for you. So you just get a curse at your command line, and it fixes it. Uh, which definitely makes me feel better every time I make a typo. <laughs> um, so yeah. Um, that's the wrong link, because I wrote this in August. But there are details on my website for anyone who's interested. You can find it just going to michellejl.com and finding the blog section on like how to implement all of this, um, where the downloads are, how to get it all set up and running. Uh, and yeah, that's how I made the command line suck less. <laughs> <laughs>